You've done a lot of stuff in your career. You've produced a lot of stuff. You've directed a lot of stuff. If someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them starting with and why? The all-star video by Smash Mouth. Sure. That, that changed your life. Well, it's a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I don't know. There's a through line of, of a dream where I came from a very, very average life. And I dreamed about things that were larger and more exciting than my own life. And I liked colorful, magical big things because I was living a humdrum existence. So I tried to bring that to the music and the music videos and the commercials and the movies and the television shows. And uh, that's what you get. So um, speaking of why I get to talk to you, which is a family switch, I was watching the film and I'm like, wait a minute, as I'm watching, that's Rivers. Wait a minute, this is Weezer. Yeah. And so uh, let's talk about Weezer because I love the band. And how did you get them in the movie? Well, I've been stalking them ever since the sweater song. It was either 93 or 94, I'm not sure and secretly completely obsessed with that band. And they never really let me in. They sort of did all their stuff with Spike Jones, who's infinitely cooler than I am. And they were wise to choose Spike over me. But uh, I saw my opportunity and I grabbed it. I'm very pleased that we call River's character name in the film Lake. So uh, for those of you paying a closer look, that you'll get a little pleasure out of that, that uh, you see young Brady Noon screaming, you know, I'm trying, Lake, you know, right in the middle of it. And that's just uh, something I enjoy. My only question is, uh, how much did you debate actually having a, a Weezer song in the movie? Because I don't think there is one in the film, or maybe I'm wrong. Well, they liked the idea of covering a Christmas song. And he's just such a prolific writer. And, you know, he was coming back from a two-week silence retreat that Rivers Cuomo, which I'd expect nothing else from my Rivers. And uh, yeah, they were happy to do that. And they jammed all the while with Ed Helms, who was playing guitar and occasionally banjo and doing his thing. And Jen was singing. And uh, the fun that you feel in that scene in the movie, we were having that much fun on the day shooting it. So um, I think, you know, I like talking about the editing process. Uh, so how did this film change in the editing room in ways you didn't expect going in? I think people underestimate how hard it is to find comedy. You, as an aficionado of editing, do know that. Um, releasing the joke and getting to the place where people overtly laugh is a matter of frames in the editorial process. And it's ironic because if you look at uh, the comedians. Most comedians are great dramatic actors. Rarely are dramatic actors funny. And comedy doesn't get a lot of respect in our town. And I think it's one of the most difficult things to achieve. So the editorial process has everything to do with finding where the joke is and getting to the funny. And hopefully there were a few giggles along the way with this one. Yeah. It, you, it's funny you mentioned that because it, it, with when it comes to the award season, everyone just forgets about comedies and how difficult they are to actually pull off. It, it's like they're like, oh, those are easy. Like it's only the dramatic that we can uh, applaud. Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be curious when we get the best picture nod over May, December. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I know. <laughs> Like, wait a minute. Um, Don't tell Natalie. Right. So uh, they've obviously been a lot of body switch movies in the past. When you're getting ready to film this, are you watching those? Or are you purposely avoiding them? No, I devour all of them. And the funny thing is, and I ask you as a film, huge film fan, we both, we both are. Can you name one you don't like? They're all pretty good. Some better than others, yeah. but they're all pretty doggone good. And I'm really big into Jungian archetypes. And I got to believe there's just something deep down in the psyche of us as human beings where we're obsessed with the idea of what it's like to walk a mile in each other's shoes. And our contribution to that was a six-way switch. Baby dog, mom, daughter, dad, son. And hopefully that adds a twist of originality and makes it all worthwhile. On that note, sir, I mean this sincerely. I really hope it's a huge hit for you and great to see you. You as well. 